Hey guys, welcome back to the channel Physics Surgery and we are back in the Pathfinder Solution series and this time we are going to take up a topic of fluid statics and uh, this is a nice conceptual and tricky question which tests your understanding of uh, free body diagram and the concept of bind force. Okay, so let's go into the formal wording of the question. So here it is. Uh, in case you are seeing this for the first time, I would request you to pause the video, give it a try for two or three minutes and then come back to look at the solution, right? So uh, two objects of equal volume V one meter cube and densities 400 kg per meter cube, the upper one and 600 kg per meter cube, lower one have identical flat portions of surface area, 100 centimeters square. So this flat part, uh, these flat portions are glued together. The composite body thus formed floats fully submerged in a liquid with the common flat portion horizontal as shown in the figure. If the glue can withstand a maximum force of 500 Newton, at what minimum depth H uh, in the liquid can the common flat portion be in equilibrium, keeping the objects intact? Uh, the acceleration of the free fall uh, is G. Okay, so in this particular problem, uh, one thing that they forgot to mention is to neglect the atmospheric pressure. Okay, so because I have already solved it, you need to be able to either given or you should be neglecting and then solving the question. Okay, so here's the concepts that are required for solving the problem. So if you are looking at, uh, let's suppose the leftmost of the screen, just concentrate and uh, follow my lead. If any free surface of liquid is there and you submerge a body completely inside it, right, a singular body, then the uh, force exerted by the water, also known as thrust force, acts actually as a, a force distributed over its entire surface area. Okay. So if I... Uh, add up all the downward looking arrows and call it as X. You could see I have represented it in the right side free body diagram and all the upward looking arrows and call it as Y. So this Y is not a singular force. It's the sum of all the upward components of this force. So this X and Y's uh, vector addition or simply a subtraction is called the band force. So band force is not a single valued force. It is the distributed force that acts on the entire surface area. We all know this. Now, a very important thing that you need to understand here is if the body distance from the free surface is kept on changing, that means I submerge it lower and lower, it's obvious the values of both y and x will increase, right? So the value of both y and x increase, but the subtraction, the band force, and that's the magic of band force is always related to the total volume of the body submerged that will remain constant. Okay, so if I Let's suppose uh, hypothetically divide this body into two parts and then draw the upper FBD and lower FBD. Okay, you should realize that there is no water actually seeping into this gap trying to produce any force. But technically or imaginarily, I can uh, imagine a value of a Z type of force. Imagine only this upper part was submerged on its own. Then you could put that Z here and cancel that Z on the lower part by putting it in the downward direction. So almost like these two FPDs merged off and the Z was canceled. So the bind force on this plus bind force on this obviously together should be the bind force on the entire body. So Z is introduced for our convenience of calculation. Okay. So we introduce Z in an imaginary broken FBD and write the upper one Z minus X should be rho liquid into that upper one's volume V1G and lower one v, Y minus Z, again, the same logic of subtraction gives you the lower one's free body diagrams FPD. So you could clearly see the uh, putting up of Z is wrong actually on in the individual equations because Z never acts. But as a combination, if you add these two equations, you will end up getting back this where the total band force comes out to be rho into V1 plus V2 into G. Okay, so this would be true even if the upper and lower parts are two different bodies and that's what we are going to use in our problem. Okay, so this is the number one concept. Second one, if the two bodies that you have submerged are of different materials, okay, right, then the weight of this body, which is rho one V into G plus rho two V into G of the second one should be equal to the total bind force. And we have already derived in concept one that it is equal to rho liquid into sum of the volumes into G. So you clearly ob obtain that the density of the liquid should be the arithmetic mean of the two objects in contact because their volumes are same. So that I would uh, from 400 and 600 that are given, I would arrive at 500 kg per meter cube, which I'll use in the solution next. 
So if you now come to the actual object that is given at a height h, the flat surface is resting from the free surface. If I draw the free body diagram of the upper part, now look at it this one very carefully, okay? The red arrows that I put up on the uh, uh, FBD are the real forces. They actually act, okay? Rho one VG is the weight of this object, okay? X is the upward fo uh, downward force that comes from the arrows addition on the upper part. So these arrows that are added, okay? Now, the, the logic here is the tension T that comes from the glue is always a pull force. Glue, glue if you should imagine, always tries to pull on objects and not push. So that's why T is also a real force water doesn't seep into this area. So there won't be any water force, but I'll use my logic of imagination, okay? I'll put a Z which doesn't act. And to cancel it, I'll put another Z which is a pull. So a Z which is a push and a Z which is a pull. The reason is if I can combine this Z and this X, I can directly write the bind force on this, okay, right? So because I have to put this push, I have to put a pull also. What's the value of this Z? Z at that level or this level is nothing but the pressure force at this level of the water, which would have been P atmosphere plus rho GH. And as I said at the start, P atmosphere is being neglected, okay? So this should be, uh, the value of Z should be rho liquid into G into H multiplied by that flat area that he spoke of, okay? So that's what I wrote. So uh, Z push in this diagram and the X from the top form bind force. Okay, right. So uh, the bind force is always upward. So the upward bind force should be equal to the remaining Z pull and the T and the red colored weight rho one VG is what I wrote here. On similar lines, you will be able to do it for the lower body also. Also introduce the Z pull and push. Please understand push will combine with Y to produce bind force, yellow color, and the rest of the things you should be able to uh, equate them. So you can actually go ahead in using any of these two equations. That means actually writing the second one is not necessary. So I'll go ahead with solving this one. Okay, so the value of tension, uh, assuming this H is at the critical point, the tension should reach its withstanding breaking point. So he said, glue can withstand 500 Newton. So I substituted 500. The value of Z I wrote at the top, can you see rho liquid into G into H into area of cross section was given as 100 centimeters square, right? So that I have substituted 100 I, uh, centimeters square I've converted to meter square, okay? And then rho liquid into V into G, I have substituted in yellow, and this one is also known to us. So rearranging, you will end up getting H value is 10 meter. You should understand and argue that this should be the minimum value because if this equation has to be satisfied for equilibrium and I, let's say, lessen the value of H even further, right? So if this number reduces, then this number should increase to keep the equality, which means it will go beyond 500 and the glue will break. So the minimum value required for this particular things to be intact should be equal to 10 meters. Okay, so I hope you liked and enjoyed the way we introduced a force and cancelled it because the bind force formula is something that we know. Remember, we don't know the individual values of X or Y. So that is the reason for introducing Z. Okay, this is a very interesting concept that has been asked in the past also in the IITJE with regular bodies. So if this irregular body, you should get the idea for. Okay, I hope you like the way the solution has been presented and uh, please in case you are new to this channel the pathfinder solution series playlist uh, link in the description below you can go ahead and enjoy the rest of the solutions that have been already done uh, by now more than i think 25 uh, solutions have been done so you please go through from various topics and other playlists that also are running parallelly are olympiad workout series aits select series and resolve series or you, can, you want to know about them there is our announcement videos also and links of all these playlists are also put up in the description below have a field day and once you like the content please like share and subscribe to my channel and i'll be coming up with more such solutions and lovely content is on your way thanks for watching and see you in the next video